Hello, welcome. My name is Valerie Starr. I'm excited to be here with you today and share a 45 minute yoga flow centered around grounding. Um, grounding <laughs> is really important this day and age, mostly because we spend so much time up here in our heads, thinking, planning, <laughs> worrying, analyzing, overanalyzing, that it can be easy to get stuck um, in that place and feel a little shaky, like the ground isn't quite there to support us. So grounding is a beautiful dynamic energy that takes us from up here right into our bodies so that we can operate from more of a present moment, right? Rather than future or past. So let's get started. Um, some things you might wanna have, if you have something like blocks, that would be great. Um, you can also use uh, books or you can also use pillows or a water bottle, something like that. Another thing that might be helpful is a strap. Um, if you don't have a strap, a belt or a tie or even yoga pants can be used or a long sleeve shirt. So let's get started here. I'm gonna have you come down onto your backs. So laying down. Time. We'll start in a figure four shape with your right ankle crossing over your left knee. So you might stay here, just really working on pressing your ankle into your knee, allowing your right inner knee to come forward. Okay, and then if it's good for you, take the package of your legs, bring it up, interlacing your fingers on your shin there or even your hamstring. But feel this dynamic energy of allowing things to press down into the ground, your shoulders drawing towards the floor, your navel hugging back towards the ground, and then just take notice how the rooting down quality feels that you can almost lift up, like there's a place to reach up from. Your eyes can be closed here and you can just allow your breath to start to have an evenness to it, a smoothness. Release the package of your legs. Bring your left foot down to the ground. Extend your right leg up, interlacing your fingers, either your hamstring, your calf, or this is where you can take a strap or a belt around your foot. Okay, so flexing your foot, drawing your toes towards your nose, lifting your heel higher to the sky. Allowing things to trickle down your leg, opening up the back of your knee. can stay here or extend your bottom leg even. Give as much energy into that bottom leg as you're giving the top leg. Allow your breath to be smooth, soft, simple. And then we're gonna take your top leg across a couple of inches so that your ankle is right over your hip point. Take your thumb on that right side into your hip crease with like a little hook and hook it forward. Okay, so into the IT band, breathing, <laughs> feeling, acknowledging. Okay, and then legs straight back up, bend your knee, place it to the ground, and then your left ankle will cross over your right knee, energizing your toes, pressing your ankle into that inner knee, and then perhaps lifting your legs up. Feel your back body on the ground, feeling the support of the ground come up to you. Soft shoulders, soft eyes. Okay. From here, your right foot will plant, your left leg will lift matching what you did on the other side here with a strap or the interlace of your hands. You can even imagine at your hip crease, 
something dropping towards the floor. Okay, your right leg can extend. Use your bottom leg as an anchoring point to keep your top leg active. Let's take it across with your thumb in your hip crease just a little bit, not too much, so that that right hip is still heavying down towards the floor on that side. These interesting things to feel as we move through these deeper places, pausing in them. <laughs> your leg back up, bend your knee, place your foot to the ground, and then grab hold of the back of your legs, rocking yourself up a few times, up and down the length of your spine. To cross your ankles, roll forward to hands and knees. You can also roll to one side. So spread your fingers wide, dig them into the mat, right, the fingertips so that you feel this little lift of your inner palms there. We'll find some cats and cows here. Drop your belly down, inhale, lift your head and tail. So softness in the front body. As you exhale, round. Drop your tailbone towards your inner knees. Use your hands rooted to feel a lift of your navel up. And let's move with this. So coming with your breath, inhale to open. Exhale, bowing in. Feel a slight exaggeration on your exhale when you press down. Notice how the rooting down allows the back of your heart to lift even higher. One more breath in. And the breath out. Come into a neutral spine here. Tuck your toes under. Use your hands pressing down to hover your knees off the ground a few inches. From your hip creases, start to press back. So lifting your tailbone higher into the air. Knees are really soft, allowing you to find more space, more length through your spine. Hug your thumbs towards one another and slowly start to extend your legs. You can keep your knees pretty bent here if you need. And let's just take a moment to pedal out side to side, bending one knee, finding extension on the opposite side. All right, and then slow that pedaling down, come in towards the center. Use your hands to lengthen your side body, lifting your tailbone up. Perhaps you might even find more space, more room in your legs. Coming into plank pose, rise to your toes, shift your weight forward into your hands. Okay, so see how your hips might want to lower down. Can you use your hands to press up? Right. Draw your navel up, downward facing dog, leading from your hip creases back as you exhale. Two more times, rise to toes, come forward plank. Gaze is focused on the ground right in front of you. Back into downward facing dog. Come forward into plank, breathing in. Okay, engage your thigh bones, lift your belly. Find this quality of lifting as you lower all the way down to the ground. You can drop your knees and lower or come down in one piece. Bring your hands towards your low ribs. Press into the tops of your feet for a cobra pose. Shoulders back. And child's pose. Widen the space between your knees. Sink your hips back towards your heels. Let your head drop down towards the ground. This can be a resting place. Pressing into the floor. Lift your upper arm bones so that your elbows start to frame the sides of your face. Let's come forward, hands and knees. Make your way back into downward facing dog. So palm by palm, start to walk your hands towards your feet coming into a forward fold. And if your knees need to bend as you do this, do it. Okay, 
rise to your fingertips or bring your hands to your shins, start to extend and lift halfway up. As you exhale, fold again. Let your head be heavy. Two more times, try and move with your breath, hands to your shins, extend forward. Press your feet into the ground, see how that changes the shape. Exhale, bowing in. Okay, one more time, inhale. Exhale. Put a little bend into your knees, hands to your hips as you rise up to stand. Okay, circling your arms up into the air. As you exhale, hands into your heart space. Release your hands by your side for mountain pose. Close your eyes just for a moment here. See your weight shifting forward into your toes. Okay, then lean back into your heels. Take it over to the right and over to the left. Find a middle place in between all those points. Lift your quads. Feel your inner arches lift as, and rise and a softening of your tailbone down, engaging from your center. Everything below your neck, softening towards the floor. Let's start to move with this inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, forward fold from your hip creases and down. Start to walk your hands to the top of your mat, coming into plank pose. Okay. Downward facing dog, exhale. Put a bend into your right knee, extend your left leg long. Then start to lift your heel towards your seat, bringing your thigh bone towards your belly, coming forward with the package of your legs to step your foot through in between your hands. Okay, you can use your hands onto something here. Drop your back knee down, lift your arms up to the air. Scissoring the inner seams of your legs towards one another, feel this reach up from your fingertips. Hands, frame your foot, step back, downward facing dog. Walk your hands to the back of the mat, finding that fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release further into your legs. Okay, let's come all the way up to stand, breathing in. And take it back down as you exhale. Walk your hands forward, plank pose, palm by palm. Downward facing dog. Bend your left knee, extend your right leg. Lift your heel, connect to your center, bring the package of your legs forward, stepping through. Knee to the ground, arms rise up. Okay, feel length through your side body, translated all the way up into your arm bones, into your finger bones. Hands down, step back, downward dog. All the way we walk into the fold. Okay, we're gonna keep this kind of repetitive backward walking motion. Try and get out of your head more into your body. Lift halfway, exhale, fold. Come on up to stand with the breath in. Hands into your heart space, release them down by your sides. And then breathe them back up, inhale, exhale, come down. Walk your hands to the top of the mat. Come into plank. Connect to your center, downward facing. Okay, right knee bends, left leg extends. Lift your heel, come forward. Step it in between, drop your knee down. So we're gonna be adding on to these flows. Arms rise up. Inhale, try and create that muscle memory for yourself. Hands down. This time you're gonna lengthen and extend your front leg. Again, something underneath your hands might be helpful. Spread your toes wide. 
with your hands pressing down into the ground, use it to draw your shoulders back. Find a longer front body. You can bow into your fold here. Keeping your foot active, wrapping your right outer hip crease back. All right, let's come forward. Lift off your back knee, take a breath in, gaze rises. As you exhale, keep your legs where they are. Come into a long pyramid pose. So here you're gonna stay rooted into your big toe mound on that front foot. Draw your right outer hip crease back. And it's very much the feeling of when we were on our backs and your leg was lifted and over your hip point at a diagonal. All right, low lunge, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Walk your hands to the back, finding a fold. Inhale for space. Exhale, deeper fold. Rise on up to stand, breathing in. Keep it moving. Exhale. Okay. Walk it forward into plank. Downward facing dog. Your left knee bends. Lift that heel. Step in between. Knee to the ground, arms reach. Okay, lifting up high. Okay. Hands to frame your foot. Rock your hips back. Lift your toes. Okay, energy down. in this shape if you press your heel into the ground, right? That dynamic energy and grounding is definitely something that's active. Low lunge. Lift off your back knee, look forward. And the exhale, long pyramid pose. Your back heel can stay up. All right, right outer hip crease back, hard left outer hip crease back. Low lunge. Step back, downward facing dog. And walk your hands back, getting pretty familiar with this. Inhale. Empty into your fold.
perhaps you bring your hands into your heart space for warrior three or release your hands back behind you wrapping your shoulder blades around your upper spine all right hands down draw your knee close in and then you're going to come on up to stand so your toes can touch the ground as you come on up to stand or maybe you keep your heel hovering lift your shin up find an interlace here shoulders back dynamic energy rooting you into your standing leg tree pose with your foot above or below your knee if you feel pretty unstable today you can bring your toes to the ground okay so feeling the inner seam of your standing leg go towards your foot and hands to your hips. Press your hands down into your hips. Use that to find more steadiness. Once you find it, hands to your heart or arms up into the air. Little softening of your tailbone down. Perhaps you find a longer reach. We're gonna take this into a figure four chair shape. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. Start to sit your seat way back. All right, flexing into your toes. Finding a focal point on the ground for balance and steadiness. Yeah. And right, feeling that inner knee open. One more breath. All right, lift up and up, unhook your ankle, send it back, supported warrior three. Hands can touch down or you can keep them extended. From here, you're gonna softly touch down onto your back toes for a high lunge, circling your arms up into the air. Put a nice generous bend into your front knee, then bend your back knee, feel a lift of your hip points to lengthen the top of that thigh. Press back even more. Yeah. Notice what you give down into your feet can translate up into a higher reach. Bring your hands to the ground. Lift your hips, try and hover your right heel, then step back into a plank pose. And lowering halfway down, holding, wrapping your elbows in, and then all the way to the ground. Tops of your feet, little back bend in cobra, elbows in. Downward facing dog. You can lift right up into plank pose or come through all fours. Downward dog. Walk your hands to the back. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, deeper fold. Come on up to stand. Circling wide. Forward fold. Last round like this. Walk your hands to the top. Palm by palm. Press back. Downward facing dog. Bend your left knee. Lift your heel. Take it forward. Back knee down. Arms rise. Big full breath in. As you exhale, hands down. Rocking your hips back. Breathe in. Exhale, bow. One more full round of breath in this shape. Low lunge, walk it forward. Cover your back knee. Long pyramid. Yeah, heavy your back heel into the ground. Take it forward, supported warrior three. As many steps as you need to launch off. Point your back toes towards the ground. 
drop your right hip. You can even take your thumb to your hip crease on that left side, bringing it back. And it might feel like it brings more weight into your back leg. That's exactly what it's doing. All right, soft bend into your standing leg, press down to lift. Maybe hover hands. Super focused. Feel all the little micro movements your body is making. Arms can extend. Right. Hands to the ground. Bring your back knee in. Come on up to stand. Either toes to the floor or not. Interlacing your fingers. Stacking your shoulders over your hip points. Okay, what happens if you give just a tiny bit more into that standing leg? Tree pose. Hands to hips. Okay, from your center, press down and lengthen through the crown of your head. Arms can reach. Figure four chair pose. Crossing your ankle, getting closer down. All right, snuggling in, bringing your forearms towards your shin. Your hands can always touch down onto something. And can you find a longer front body here? Notice how your body is trying to make balance here, wiggling in your left foot side to side even. And working for you to find steadiness. Okay, let's come up, unhook your ankle, slowly make your way back into a supported warrior three or warrior three. Strong back body. Okay, landing softly down. High lunge, how was that? I'm sure it was really focused. Bend your back knee, lift your hip points up, and extend. Yeah, scissoring the inner leg lines towards one another. One more. Hands down. Lift your hips, try and pluck. Use your center. Hovering, plank pose. Okay, strong legs halfway down, all the way to the ground. Find a back bend as you breathe in. Downward facing, however you get back. Palm by palm, folding, inhale. Room. Exhale, diving in. Let's take it a little bit deeper. Separate your feet, hip distance, bend your knees, grabbing hold of your big toes with your two piece fingers. So lengthen your heart long, inhale. As you exhale, bend your elbows away from each other, hinging forward, letting your head drop. Shake it out side to side. You can stay here with knees bent or extend your legs more, pulling the front of your body longer. So find softness where you can find softness. Maybe even try to pour more weight into your toes. What happens? <laughs> your body's trying to hold you steady. Your toes are catching you. All right, let it go. Let's come on up to stand. And hands to your heart. Release your hands by your side coming back into mountain pose. Pour your weight forward into your toes. Lean back into your heels. Over to the right side. 
weight into the knife edge of one foot, the inner arch of the other. Over to the left. And you can circle around, coming forward, side, back, and side, and then reverse, going the other way. Find a balance point between all four corners. Like your feet were straws drinking energy up from the ground, up your legs, all the way, crown of your head. Arms reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Breathing in here. Walk your hands to the top of the mat, coming into a plank pose. Okay, walk your feet together. Scissor the inner seams of your legs together. Press deeper into your hands. Shift your weight over into your right hand. Come to the knife edge of that foot. Side plank. Your hand can start on your hip. Okay. And then draw your right shoulder blade further back behind you. Your foot can come in front as a kickstand, or you can start to find a tree pose here, bringing your foot to the inner seam of your leg, and then using the inner leg to lift higher. Your arm can reach up to the sky. Holding steady, press deeper down to lift. Soft breath, soft face. And then your hand comes down, step back, plank pose. We'll take it to the other side, weight into your left hand, swivel to the knife edge of that foot. Okay, energy down, drinking it up through your arm. And let's do the same thing that you did on the other side here. Tree pose above or below your knee arm can reach. Stacking your wrists over your shoulder and just being with any kind of movement, shakiness. Holding. Okay. Step it down. Plank pose. Let's lower all the way down. Okay. Come to the tops of your feet. Cobra. Wrap your elbows in. Forehead to the ground. So, I'm going to find a bit of a more challenging back bend. Bring your hands by your side, your forehead to the ground. So, feel your tailbone lengthening towards your inner knees, engaging your center. Then, start to roll your shoulders onto your back body, wrapping them around your upper spine to lift your upper body. Spread your fingers wide. Feel the strength of your back body opening your front. Then perhaps hover your feet. Spread your toes wide, tiny little micro bend into your knees to engage your hamstrings. Focus. What if this energy cursing through your body isn't necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, but something that's waking you up? All right, let's release down to the ground. Pancake your hands on top of one another and just shake your hips side to side, releasing through your low back. Child's pose. Bring your hands down. Press your hips back towards your heels. Let your head fall forward. Big breath in, fill the back of your heart space. Exhale, open your mouth and release. Okay, walk your hands towards your knees. Scoot your hips to one side and bring your legs forward. I'm gonna take it down to the ground. Okay. With your knees bent, your feet on the floor. 
hands resting down by your sides. And we're just gonna turn this into a breath practice to start. As you inhale, lift your arms up overhead. Imagine you have a beach ball in between your hands, holding it steady. As you exhale, bring your hands by your sides, press your heel into the ground, and then bring your tailbone towards your inner knees as you lift. This is your breath out. Arms up, hips to the ground, inhale. Right. Try and smooth your breath with your motions. Coming up. Press down to lift your hips. Okay, arms up overhead. Let's do one more like this. Anchor your heels down, lift your hips. Hands by your side. This time we're gonna stay here. Either walk your hands underneath your back, interlace your fingers, rolling your shoulder blades back, or find little robotic arms here. Okay, using your triceps pressing down to lift your front body. Press into your big toe mounds, ever so slightly feel this dropping, descending down of the inner seams of your legs. One more. Lower down, hips to the ground. Cactus your arms with your elbows out wide. Just take a moment here being soft, letting your breath smooth out. Okay, let's set up again. Hands by your sides, walk your feet, hips distance. Breathe in, arms up overhead. Breathe out, dig your heels down, lift your hips. Find an interlace here or do what you did before. Press down into the ground to find a higher lift. Feel the breath kind of pooling into the back of your throat, hollowing there. Listen to your body's signals when you're ready to come down and release. We'll let it go. Cactus your arms. And sometimes the heart beats a little bit faster after back bending. Just taking time to notice that. Let's set up again, hands by your sides. Inhale, float your arms up overhead. And the exhale, pressing down. Lift in your hips. Find a clasp or robotic arms. This time, walk your feet towards one another. Press down even more, connect to your center, strong center. And you're gonna lift your right heel, okay? Press into your left foot, draw that knee into your chest as best you can, right? Find that solid, steady base below you, maybe extend your leg, rolling your ankle around a few times and then bend your knee, place your foot down, ready, we're gonna switch sides, lift your left heel, stay there or knee up. This can be where you stay or extend your leg. A couple times, rolling around. <laughs> bend your knee, place your foot down. Before you come down, do one little lift, hold it. <laughs> And then come on down. Nice work, everyone. Windshield wiper your knees softly side to side. And cactus your arms. Slow your motions down. Bring your knees into your chest. Cup the tops of your knees with your hands. Make some circles. Going in both directions. One way, then the other. 
You're gonna take this into a gentle spinal twist. Bring your feet to the ground. Scoot your hips over to the right. Let your knees fall gently over to the left side. Okay, look down at your spine so that your shoulders and your hip points are stacked. And then your left hand can come to your knees. And okay, see if you can adjust your right shoulder onto the ground and then your gaze can go over towards your right fingertips there, closing your eyes. Imagine your rib cage on that right side, like a big accordion. See if you can breathe in and expand that side, making more space between your ribs. Let your exhale fall passively out of your mouth. <sighs> Two more times, inhale, find a bit of tension at the top of your in-breath. Exhale. <sighs> shift twist to the other side bring your feet to the ground scoot your hips slightly over to the left knees to the right okay looking down and see if you can use your right elbow to draw your left shoulder down further same thing here we're going to take three really expansive breaths into the rib cage. Imagine your lungs going towards the inner ribs. Full exhale to the bottom. Again, breathing in. Let it go heavy out. Last one here. All right, we'll just roll over to your right side. Start to use your hands to press up slowly and keep your eyes closed here. We're gonna find a seated tree shape. So your right leg stays long, your left foot comes into the inner leg, right? Same thing, could be above or below your knee. Feel the inner seam of your leg go towards your foot. Tent your fingerprints behind you, and then do a little bit of a scoot so that you're trying to bring your pelvis in line with your ankle. Okay, so spread your toes wide, engage your quad, lift your arms to the sky. As you exhale, start to hinge forward from your hip creases, bowing down. So for some of us, it might be a better stretch to keep your hands tented behind you, okay? For others, you can use a belt or a strap around your foot, holding. Otherwise, come forward and down, a bit of a diagonal towards your front leg so that your left shoulder drops heavier down. And a softness here, closing your eyes, letting your head get heavier. And if there's any tension in the back of your neck, shaking that out side to side. Stay low, use your hands to the ground to lengthen, and extend the front of your body. Exhale, perhaps there's a deeper bow forward. Okay, let's come on up, arms reach high. Bring your left hand to the ground behind you, point into your right toes, then lift your hips up, opening through your side body here. Release down, and we'll switch sides. Left leg extends, right knee bends. Okay, hands behind you. A little inch towards that leg. Inhale, arms reach. 
exhale, coming down, toes are active. We'll steering down of your right shoulder. Let's lift halfway. See if there's just a tiny little millimeter of space. And then bow deeper down. Rise up, arms reach. Right hand to the floor, dig in. Float your hips up, shoulder blades back. Stargazer here. Come on down. Both legs extend. Keep a bend into your knees here. So you can dive underneath, grabbing hold of your elbows. And then just let yourself bow towards your legs. Okay, soft, nothing too crazy. Again, if there's that tension, shake it out. And you can stay here or start to extend your legs down into your arms. At any point, you can let it go reaching for your ankles, your shins, or your feet. Again, if this is too much, sit upright with your hands tented behind you. Okay, so forward fold. Toes are active. Press forward with your big toe mound. Draw your pinky toe mound back. Just like you were standing before, can you engage your quads and feel this lift of your inner arch? Let's inhale, lift halfway, pull your front body long. Exhale to bow. A strap can be used around your feet. And for these last breaths here in the fold, can you let go of whatever your arms are doing? using the strength of your legs pressing into the floor to hold you, uh, surrendering and letting go of your upper body. Let's come on up, arms reach high. Hands to the ground, behind you, walk your feet in. Press them down, press everything down, your hands, your feet. Use it to lift, 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 lift your hips, unfurling, unraveling your front body long, and then drop your head back, open your mouth and release. Come on down. Find a comfortable seat here, either legs crossed, or sitting onto your heels, okay? Either one. Just take a few moments here, letting things settle. Give a little shake of your wrists, a little bend into your elbows. Let your hands just drop onto your legs. Okay, shoulders stacking over your hip points, eyes closed. I'm not trying to do anything here, but observe your breath. Right, the inhale has this lifting, energizing quality to it. The exhale has a letting go, anchoring, rooting quality to it. Breathing in between the two opposites. drop of your chin in towards your chest. 
A little acknowledgement for your presence, your practice. And thank you so much for spending your time with me. Again, my name is Valerie Starr. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.